kila mtu ni Vivian, unamsikia? back to good morning kenya entertainment thursday it is and we go on with uh, this particular show and right now i am joined by ni kama leo watu wanakuja tu by two sijui ningetafuta ni kama nilikosa hiyo memo ya two by two i am joined by harry niesta and ruth mijere who are both artists welcome to the show Thank okay. you. kabisa? Aya, just to clear the air. Nyinyi pia you are a couple ama we just friends. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for that they are just friends. Lakini hata wale walianza kwa friends. I hope when I say this I'm not I'm talking about two. Okay. To this you are both uh, singers yeah. if we can just start with you uh, Ruth mm-hmm. um ziki yako ilianza kivipi because i understand see ati mnafanya ngoma pamoja throughout you yeah. are just it's a song you've done together right now yeah. but yeah. if you can just give us your musical journey mekuaje yako so my journey it's been good it started 2020 that's when i got the confidence to like start um doing covers mm-hmm. went to the studio started with covers then later on I I did my song yeah that's how it's been mm-hmm. yeah. okay um mimi nilianza immediately after high school so i took some time shule kwanza nikasema like after shule ndio ninge music but uh kujua naweza imba nilianza from primary ile nyu naona angalau like kujichosha sana unaimba mtao wako like huyo boy anaweza apiga pale mabibui wanajua anaweza kuwa msani but immediately nikimaliza hapo 2015 ndio nikaingia sasa music official yeah. um Ruth tumesema ulikuwa unataka ulikuwa unataka ku gain kwanza confidence yeah. how difficult is it and what did you do for you to like gain your confidence ndio sasa uweze kuingia kwa music vizuri okay initially i used to like think niki and out like there's no one who's going to like like my my things and all that so yo yo nini kuoga mm-hmm. so a friend of mine ndo alini introduce akanipeleka kwa studio ndo nikaona ah this place is nice so nikataka kufanya more and more music yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, what would you say inspires your music okay mostly uh, the artists in me me follow sana uh, then i i thank god immediately nilingia kwa music uh, nilikutana na like lady b lady b amekuwa there ku teach na pia kunelewa church sana mm-hmm. na kuish sana kufanya the most of evangelism so singeweza kuenda one on one kufanya evangelism for god but nilikuwa na feel nikifanya music naweza reach so many mm-hmm. so that's why like na kuanga inspired sana kufanya more and more like so that uh, naweza win souls for christ okay umesema lady b na lady b lady b amekuwa kajuzi juzi yeah. so you just got an you know your hand in music vizuri juzi juzi too yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah kwa sababu sija kaa sana pia kwa music sana nimeka i think music like six years so lady b alio kwa 2012 so like ni around 10 years pia but immediately tulipata na hiyo time yenye pia alikuwa anaingia music pole ni ndio ameingia music immediately but akaanza kunifunza hiyo journey so nikaanza ku admire the way passion yake iko in christ ya misa sanika nika wish kufanya more no. yeah. kwa nini ni important for someone even uh, let's say just an artist kukuwa na mtu ambaye anamshika mkono mtu ambaye ako juu yake pengine yeah. kwa 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 hii ministry like me say uh, me say like uh, we learn like kila mtu in this world like you learn from from someone you can't just like ni kama tukienda shule unafunza ndio joe hivi hesabu inafanywa hivi the same same so if uko na mtu samwe mwenye amepitia the process before wewe kuna vitu zenye hazita kulemea sana like for example kama mtoto kadogo kanavuka njia akiwa na mzazi like mzazi anaelewa ah ni ngoje kwanza magari zipite ndio tupite so the same same line ukiwa na someone mwenye akombele kuna vitu mingi sana hazita kupatia pressure 
kwa sababu kuna zingine uta ah, nikifanya hivi nitapata hivi but maybe alipitia hapo akupata mm -hmm. so atakwambia trust the process and even 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 i think sitakuwa sawa mm -hmm. yeah ruth wewe nani ndo huyo mtu kwako nani anakushika mkono nani anakuguide eh, eh, in this um yours is a ministry right it's gospel Ni, uh -huh. so yeah ni niko na wawili kuna pamirans na the same time lady b jun tuna work under yeye kwa church mm -hmm. so hao wawili wako wamenishika mkono at least mm -hmm. kuni guide ya ah uh, um mention church mm -hmm. na there was a time nilikuwa nasikia conversation about you know the way gospel artists wanafaa kukua you know under a church yeah. because ilikuwa imefika point kuna gospel artists hawako under any church yeah. so is that really as important as walikuwa nasema lazima za gospel artists kukua uko under a church yeah for me i think it's very important to be under a church because mm -hmm. upon the spiritually yako ina grow here you know see at kila time uta spend ukienda out 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 you have to go back to your home please any other way at least uta serve na watu wengine wabarikiwe yeah mhm yeah me too i feel ni important sana kwa sababu like kama you gospel minister unataka like to feed out so with so like if you under church kuna venye pia church itaku build itaku feed word so the time you unafanya music utafanya music kama idea like ni, nimepata idea fulani the the the, the ground yenye umeleleo itakupata ile foundation yenye utakuwa na something yenye utaenda mbele ya watu pia unaweza feed something you call right sile ya kubatisha tu yes aliyokuwa hivyo tu you can go deeper mm -hmm. the way ume, umetichiwa na you teach wengine na mm -hmm. upate like generation in a group from your music pia mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the both of you are doing gospel music yeah. so Mulioka kakut kwanza kitambo ama you just you know uh, decided maybe gospel is the easier way to go ama maybe ni kwa sababu you know that is how you grew up so you decided I'll go the gospel way I would want to know mbona gospel like was it for each one of you was it something that just came like why gospel okay mimi uh, nimelelewa kwa church but ile kuoko kaka bisa nilioko nikiwa form 2 so you see like my foundation imekoa church so as time goes by nimependa gospel and then hiyo gospel imeningia tu yani Mungu ameningia so hakuna <laughs> hakuna any other yeah hiyo desire ya kwenda like secular and all that yeah mm -hmm. so. yeah for me for me nilichukulia so serious because uh, kuna time nilika chini nikasema like uh, okay i can do party things it's okay but by the end of the day nilikuwa nasema if god ndiye alinileta kwa hii world nini yenyewe naweza toka niseme god nili do something in this kwa hii world sababu siwezi nilipa kuna vitu siwezi fanya like ku satisfy god so the only thing ni ku, to, ku expand the kingdom to so nilika chini nikasema kwanza by the mean nasema like go space not easy the way msata fiwa chani ingie go space ni easy go space is ni kwanza mimi na feeling hapo sasa ndio natakana ukue energize kwa sababu uweza ambia mtu ninakuja lakini lazima ufanye hivi uweze kwa sababu unafanya ministry so me believing like ni kitu yenyewe nilifanya like nifanye nilisema like nataka kufanya god something yenye even day moja tukisema like tunatoka in this world hata nikisema mbele yake anaweza sema at least uli ulifanya this uh, mission ulifanya evangelism kuna mtu wawili wa tatu walikuja kwa kingdom yake through it so you need to inspire sana kufanya gospel mm -hmm. yeah. and do you feel like gospel artists are judged more unajua kuna pahali ufai kuonekana yeah. like i feel like according to me na feel yani gospel artists wanakuanga wako na pressure fulani tu yeah. you need to look a certain way there is something you cannot wear utaambiwa oh hiyo nguo yako sijui ulikuwa umevaa ni fupi nini would you say that you are judged more harshly i would say yes sometimes cuz you know as much as you're doing gospel we are human beings and we can't be perfect tuna perfectiwa na grace ya god mm -hmm. so at times tunakuwa judged sometimes kuna venye watu waja understand like we are human beings i can i can make a mistake mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay uh, yeah by the kuna judgment like kuna place where in here maybe rafiki yake anaweza kuwa anapatia tu wewe enda sababu yeye ilikuwa kwa ili kwa pale but only only ni ona sema like kwa sababu unafanya gospel una, unataka watu watembe right way the way Jesus right to Jesus the way and come up fear your dambi zetu zikuwe washed away mm -hmm. so the same same way pia wewe lazima kuwe example to to to, to someone you see mm -hmm. you can't say like a, 
okay for me mimi nafanya gospel naweza tu kuwa hivi na get ah usijali venye niko unajua sometimes mtu i learn from your words and i learn from maybe the, the way you look the way huyu mtu anafanya binyami package na kuna mwingine atasikia from words so vitu hizi vitu zote mimi nasema anga like lazima uji package poa yenye mtu akikuangalia hivi ataki kukusikia eh wewe ameokoka huyu aya mwingine naye atataka kukusikia ndio aokoka so hizi vitu usifanye ile moja ukifanya moja mimi kuna mwingine hata hata ukoka kwa sababu ata feel ah huyo siwezi msikia na kuna mwingine so hizo vitu ukiwa like unatama, una try sana kutembea right way yenye before you speak watu wanaweza judge what you can put out mm-hmm. yeah and how are you able to stay in check yani unahakikisha kivipi kwa unabaki tu kwa ile ile line ile inatakikana you know without backsliding and so on and so forth okay for uh, ni ni koza that's why ni poa sana kukuwa na someone mwenye ako behind you you see mi uambia anga some of my friends ningekuwa like maybe nilikuwa tunafanya gospel tu so mimi ni producer still mm. ningeenda studio ni sketch idea ni fanye fanye kwa sababu wave fulani imekuja so acha ni move but ushaikuwa na watu wenye wako like kama kuna ma producer Shazbaru like ukiweka kitu status ako like hey bro hiyo njia yenu inaenda si right you see yani the surround yenye iko ina mata sana mm-hmm. like kitu next kitu utafanya kitu mbaya wa club ama atakwambia si right so na make sure pia the surround you are uko karibu pia na your pastor church usikuwe tu church goara like uko na something unajua kama unafanya something church like wewe ni kama sana hapo so they follow your steps sana ai hapa penye unaenda si right kwa sababu wewe mwenyewe uwezi uta think uko sawa na uko sawa mm. yeah as a young person uh, roots wewe unahakikisha aje how you know there's so many things happening na as a young person kubaki kwa you know ile njia ambayo uh, we may say is right saa zingine ni ngumu kwa sababu there are challenges there are temptations here and there wewe una manager aje ku, ku put all that out so that's it we say man lazima ukue under someone okay. also under a church because mm-hmm. when ukiwa na mtu atakushikilia vile tu Ari amesema atakuwa like there kuku guide and also hizo hizo words zenye unafidiwa na, na na through your pastors through your friends through everyone ziko hapo kuku guide mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. Harry when you producer yeah do you only produce gospel music yeah only gospel yeah like I can't miss what Sikali kikuja. Okay, not like secular ni bad music. Mm. But you see uh, me believing gospel ni, 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 in a working spirit way. So anything you feed your mind, you feed your spirit the way in a work. So mm-hmm. sometimes when the kwa maybe me talk or me pray, tunataka kuja secular ni maybe secular zinge simba but kuna zingine nazo zitapeleka so unapata like uko out. So the Holy Spirit anataka ng'a place yenye ni clean yenye ina But kuna secular zenye you know kama um, the song by um, Nyashinsky and Sauti Sol tujiangalie yeah. I mean someone comes with such a song see it's it's not gospel music but it's not bad music Okay Simba that's why nimetangulia ni, ni kusema like mm-hmm. it's not bad secular is not bad but kuna two zile principles mtu kwa nazo you see uh, kuna mwenye atafanya secular najua kuna mwingine okay mimi sifanyangi production because of like business mm-hmm. acha nitumie hivyo nikifanya kama business nita produce kila time but the time ninafanya kama ninafanya production ya gospel the same same way inafanya ni kama like nafanya na maintain kwa huduma yenye niko ndani you see mm. so nikisema like na switch this side okay ni poa nitaenda nje i interact na nao kwa sababu wasani wengi ukiangalia studio yangu wengine wali, walikuwa secular so i go na interact na nina nina mwambia then watakam atakuja kufanya to then ni aje nime feel nataka kufanya gospel kwa sababu nini yeye mind yake acha set kwenye nataka kutoka secular i think na feel hariana is anifanyia ngo ma right yenye naingia na gospel kwa sababu mm. umeweka channel fulani principles zako pia Okay so yeah. it's just your preference na ni principle ambayo wewe umejeka. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a uh, judge what uh, no, 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 <laughs> you do. You're not at the only other thousand. No, 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 no. How about you Ruth? Would you would you are you open to collaborate with any artist even if they are not a uh, gospel artist? Mm. Usi <laughs> <laughs> usi Kama you open it's okay. <laughs> okay. For now. Mm-hmm acha acha kidogo tu tu pause yeah and why not for you according to me okay adi sauti ni kama imepotea 
Well, it's it's kind of it's kind of tricky because mm -hmm. wana tumbianga it's either you're hot or cold. So ukenda umix kuna vinye tu utakuwa disrupted kidogo, you know. So for me, apo kidogo na yeah. Okay, my DJ is here with me. Sijui kama kwa na swali kweli. Umenyama za sana hapo. Yeah, I was working on something. Uh, my, my good friends here. Mm. You're doing a great job. Uh, I just wanted to speak about the uh, the latest song we release. How what uh, what uh, made it like to come back uh, to come together? Mm. Then you produce an amazing song. Mimi I have listened to it and it's so so amazing so what was uh, something that came in your mind so for you to release that amazing song okay the song i i think idea came from me so <laughs> the the woman about to be god that she came coming so the song came because uh ni so many friends of mine like mini kona group in a ggf generation god forever so kila mtu alikuwa anga like hey mambo hii ni sawa na get so there's a friend of mine kila kitu akifanya nilikuwa najaribu hii imefanya hivi bro hata when nimeenda home nikirudi na get so hiyo time nikiwa student kaambia bro sasa place ni imefika ni all about to kubali god akushike mkono so the way when you me example nikasema like mzaza kivuka na mtoto hawezi kubali mtoto abaki nyuma atagua maana yeye so meaning god akikushika mkono in life anything kikuja atajaribu kuweka eh, gates zenye hazita kufikia so the time yenye ni sketch nikaeka idea nikaeka chorus na hiyo time by then nilikuwa so emotional sana kwa sababu pia the same same venye anasema the same pia mimi na feel like na vitu zingine i think hapa natakana ni niweke god sana so the first person who alikuja kwa mind ni, ni, ni root cause ni one of my artist wenye pia alikuwa ameniambia hey, hari unajua kuna venye kuna venye so venye tu ilikuja nikasema hapana so time nilitoka studio nilimcall tu nikamwambia waenda studio usikie the idea nikikuja nikisikia id kwa sawa tuta release na imagine venye nilikuja nikasikia ni ika ni bless immediately ni bless nikasema like this song hata nilikuwa namwambia this song is not for people it's for me so naweza isikia ni isikie hata watu walisikia wasisikie but for me it an inspired. Yeah, why so, would you say you settled on Ruth because when I say end or the first person that yeah. came to your mind why specifically her for this song? Cuz I felt like uh, our uh, our voice is that were compatible then uh, the situation alikuwa nilikuwa nikishua kabisa najua music music ni all about spirit what you are like you can write something ukiwa kwa situation fulani you put out kabisa but ukiita tu mtu ataandika na idea you see so nilikuwa na nikoshua kabisa yake kuja like ata come in that spirit kwa sababu pia si alikuwa anapitia mambo kidogo so ata put out nini niko kwa hati yake mm -hmm. na ukiput something yenye kwa heart yenye kwa kwa hati yako out kuna mtu the same same person yani kuna mtu outside there mwenye ako na same issue na same kila kitu yenye unaongea so it a minister to someone hapo nje that's when you feel like to do that collab okay yeah. uh, Ruth, wait, wait, uh what does this song mean to you you know now as you were writing you know uh, for this particular song like what was the feeling so that someone just understands ingoma wewe kwako ina mean nini exactly to you personally wehe at that time it was like was me zime zime crash too so as i was writing like nilikuwa at, at the end like what will i do you know <laughs> so after that ndo nika andika and it came out so this song in i mean yani it means a lot and it's like a prayer that i am doing i'm i'm praying to god and not only i'm praying for myself na ombea pia wale wenye wana undergo through the same situation they in nimekuwa yeah okay okay i don't know if uh, we can play that song Tuisikize ama okay kama hatuwezi kuicheza saa hizi nyinyi mtatuimbia si mko hapa Yeah Niko hapa kwa hivyo mtuimbie tu just just a little bit of it so that people uh, get to feel the song I think <coughs> okay wacha imbe basi wani ende limba basi wani ah, yeah. then to tell you about us yeah Sa Mimi nakuja mbele za kubaba Shida nyingi matatizo mengi ya meja 
Oh disappointment kila mahali natamani nikuwe na mali usiniache wanitekeani oh rabbi nimshinda shetani nina imani mambo yatakuwa sawa tunatumaini baba lako kwako baba nina imani mambo yatakuwa sawa Tana tuma ene langole koko koba ba oh 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 Ati tushike mkono Baba tushike eh utushike mkono eh baba we ati tushike Yesu we tushike mkono Baba tushike eh utushike mkono eh utushike mkono baba utushike mkono eh utushike mkono baba utushike mkono okay beautiful song right there as we finish what gives you satisfaction in this job that you're doing because it's still a job as much as it's ministry it's it is your job what gives you satisfaction the fact that people are being blessed through the song mm. that's it that's it for you yeah uh, me too, I think. <laughs> me, I always go through comments. Like, uh, I'm, uh, I'm on a part of the inbox. I'm saying, I'm going to be this situation. Hurry. Mm -hmm. Like, this song, I mean, bless, and I feel like I could, could, could restore ten. Like, any na fanyanga, like, in a pump, like, even if it's one comment. Like, mm -hmm. you see, it's in heaven. One person, for example, Kiyokoka kuna bash. So imagine, what Karibu Atano, I'm saying, the same issue. Maybe I'm going to issue now, I'm going Imewasaidia wakatoka in. So kuna bash mingi. Na unajua heaven kukua na bash. Na imagine life yako sasa mwenye umefanya bash kukua heaven. Mm -hmm. So mina kwanga so satisfied sana. Mm -hmm. that time. Yeah. It's a good thing umesema ipo because even the previous guests that were here alisema au pia yao inakuja. Just knowing that you've touched just one person. It yeah. doesn't need to be many people. Yeah. Just one or two people is enough. Yeah. Is enough for you. Yeah. Alright, where can people find uh, that song uneza tuambia kwenye watapata that particular collaboration and then individually? kwenye mta wata wapata. Okay, tushike mkoni kwa my channel Harinesta TV. So uh unaingia tu YouTube na tafuta Harinesta featuring Ruth Mjere tushike mkono everywhere like uh, tunaomba tu tunaomba even if utaisikia na usifeel na just song I bless kila mtu. <laughs> but tuna feel ushe. Uwezi jua nani mfollower wako nini napitia. Unajua tumekutoka kwa ile world yenye mtu afatili rafiki yake but maybe you can put kitu out then akisikia maybe na ile mwenzi so ingia tu pale utafute then you share na kutashukuru sana sana mm -hmm. okay. na wewe personally umesema ni hari hari ni yesa kila mahali ni tv everywhere ukienda okay. ikwa ig wapi hari ni yesa okay yeah. ruth ruth mijere everywhere YouTube, Facebook, Kilamari. Mm -hmm. Kondo atapata ngoma zako izu zingine. Yeah. Alright, thank you so much for coming. Thank and you. continue doing the work that you're doing. Asante. Thank you. Okay, that was Harry and Ruth. But don't you go too far. We have more interviews lined up for you. We have two more artists plus a film director and producer as well.